All right, when I first, you know, started rolling with my brother, you know, um, I was doing security. I was in charge of security back then, you know, and uh, I was real proud, you know, to, to you know what my brother had accomplished, you know, because I, you know, I, I remember the old days before any of this happened. You know, I remember the, the, the puff rice with no sh the, the sugar smacks that didn't have the sugar on. It was just the smack. I remember the welfare peanut butter tearing up the bread. Okay. I remember. Uh, Explain the thing about when you didn't understand the welfare peanut butter until you got older. Oh, welfare peanut butter? Well, welfare peanut butter is kind of like a Mary Jane. Imagine trying to take a Mary Jane and spread it on the bread and make a sandwich. You, you know, uh, well, now that when I went to the Navy, I found that if you take some, some, some cooking oil and add it to the, pe the welfare peanut butter, it turns into like Skippy. It's nice and creamy and you can spread it. But I didn't know that when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? So we fucked up mad bread trying to make peanut butter sandwiches and shit. So to, to go from that, to go from the, the, the apartment to the house in Long Island to, you know, having this brother that became a, a star, you know what I'm saying? And, and knowing that, you know, when we was growing up, they didn't have all these channels on TV. You know, you only had a couple of channels and my brother pointed at the, at the television and said, I'm gonna be on that one day. And when he pointed at it, you know, I think it was probably one black person on it. It was Julia or something like, you know what I'm saying? It was, so I, it was unfathomable that he would be, even become a star. But he did, and I was, I was mad proud of my brother, man. Well, first of all, when we, when we was kids, right, I'm the older brother. So, you know, uh, I put it to you like this. I found out that I could whip a lot of motherfuckers' ass that I didn't think I could whip because they stepped in him. You know what I'm saying? It was guys who I was afraid of, but I was more, I've always been more afraid of my moms and shit. So I was like, you know, <laughs> I don't care if you are a big butchie, I got to do you because you, if I go home, my little brother is messed up. And, he, and my mother said, well, what did you do? I better be messed up worse than him. You know what I'm saying? My mother was the type, when we in Brooklyn, hang the belt out the window and say, either you whip his ass or I'm going to whip your ass. Which means the only thing that was acceptable was victory, <laughs> victory man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was the only thing acceptable. I can remember what my brother was doing uh, before I even started working for him. And he was trying, he was just doing comedy and he would go and he would do like a, a high school or he would go do, do Hofstra University or, you know, little, little sets he was doing around the area. And the ability to go in front of an audience and express yourself and make them laugh, you know what I'm saying? That was like really amazing to me that he, that he had that, that power. You know, to stand in front of a, a group of people and say, this is what I think is funny and I'm gonna make you laugh and do it. But because he was so good at it and I was so proud of him, I was like real, if, if you didn't laugh, I was real emotional. I, I probably would fuck you up for not laughing. That's how, that's how I felt. Because I felt that everybody should be laughing because I, cause I thought it was funny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> everybody else is laughing. But there's always that one hater, that one person that's not going to go with the flow, that's going to try to throw an egg on the show and all that. And I would, I would always react to that person. When I started working for my brother, you know, as security, that was the reason that ultimately led to me, ultimately led to me not being able to perform that task for him anymore because I was the hothead security guard. To be a security guard, you have to be, uh, you have to separate yourself from the person and do a job, a professional job. You can't be reacting to everything you hear or insults or slurs that somebody, and if you're a celebrity, you know, and especially if you, my brother was a young male, uh, you know what I'm saying, women was on him. I mean, I remember walking through the club, man. We used to go in the club and drain it. He used to drain the club, man. He's walking and go like this, walk, do a lap, walk out. The, all the girls in the club would leave wherever he was going. You know what I'm saying? And so the, the guys are going to be saying shit that, you know, fuck that motherfucker, man. Shit. <laughs> I got money too, nigga. Nigga pull out, you know, this little knot, whatever. That happened a lot. And I used to always react to cats like that, you know? Soon as they do that, I'll be like, what? Bob! Now nah, I'm rolling on the ground with this motherfucker. Fuck that motherfucker, man. Shit. Punk ass nigga. I have to react to that. You know? And it was to the extreme with me 